Exclamation, everybody, and welcome back to Soul Zero. We are continuing on Galess here, our, our, um, what is it, uh, exoplanet, exoplanet map. Um, having a fairly strong start. I do believe I need another solar panel, though, which we have just enough resources for that, it looks like. Because I, I know that I'm going to be skirting the edge of disaster here very soon. Because we need to get we need to get colonists up here. Actually, I should probably just speed up a bit so we get to our to where we need to be. Um, but yeah, we need we need colonists up here a big time. So we don't have them. Uh, how's my? I didn't put any methane down yet. I should have probably put some methane down with that and not what I did. But that's all right. We. We got uh, ability to bring some large rockets, so let's do that while we can. Alrighty then, new rocket available. Let's go up here. We will say um, I need I need colonists, so let's get four colonists up here. Uh, we're gonna go go slowly uh, if I can, and I need a, a mineral extractor. Um. We got some crates here. Actually, 12 crates is all I'm going to be able to take along with those colonists. Uh, and I think that's going to have to do for now. All right. So, see you guys back on the surface again. All right. Our colonists are disembarking. We're going to need to actually be able to feed these guys, which I'm not going to be able to do right now. But uh, let's tackle this one thing at a time. First of all, we need methane. So I'm going to have to make a methane extractor up there, if we can. Uh, let's grab another thing off of here as soon as possible. And we'll go build a methane cryotank over yonder. We'll have that start to get us some, some very, very much needed uh, resources here so we can launch all the things. And in the meantime, we can get this guy out and have him start doing some mining, even though I don't have any, I don't have a refinery yet for him. But we can get this pocket started, and we can get this pocket started before I, before I end up building on top of things that I need later on. Um, Alright, and then that'll get us close to being able to do our, uh, do what is necessary for building a biology lab and all that stuff. Alright, you start mining. All right, you, uh, you don't need to do that. You need to come down here. Uh, you can go up and finish that. All right, you, I need you to build another greenhouse right there. If I can, nope, can't fit in there because I got the solar panels in the way. All right, you need to build a straight hallway then. And we need to, we need to branch off of this so I can start getting some more habitats and other things in here. This guy can come on back down. So we're good as far as the colony is concerned right now. We're at half there, the bar, the colony bar. So we can make a little bit of expansion. And although our power is going to be uh, another thing here. But I at least want to get that down. And I want to get the four-way hallway down once my guy stops moving. If you would kindly do that very soon here. There we go. Like that. All right. So, with this on here, obviously I'm going to have one branch that I can't do anything with. But that's fine for now. I just need to, I need the uh, greenhouse more than anything else. And I know this is getting, cutting it close down here. So I'm going to have to get that out of there at some point. Uh, what do I have? 688 I need for that? Alright, well, we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it right now. Uh, well, actually the water is okay. Uh, it keeps going negative, but it's, it's still, still good. Alright, so this is, this needs some oxygen, um, which I might not have enough there for that. He's going to go repair that, right? Please repair that, if you would, kindly. Yes, thank you. Alright, I want you to build another oxygen generator right there, just so that I am clear that we have more than enough. I think we have more than enough now. I just want to be absolutely certain that this is, this is going to work for us. Let's grab everything off of there. You need to do a little bit more mining down there. 
All right, very good. Okay, so that, that's down. So you can come over there and grab some more stuff. You can go grab some more stuff here. And that will get the oxygen flowing there. I'm going to need another solar panel uh, quite, quite soon here. So let's bring this guy around that way. Is there any more? There's nothing more on that rocket. Okay, so we do have to clear that launch pad at some point. Uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, let's go and build. So how's our food? Our food is at zero right now. So I think we're good for the moment. Let's put another solar panel down. Once I can move these solar panels out of the way, then we can we have another branch off point here. Uh, yeah, you're gonna you gonna do it or not? There you go. Let's move that out of the way for you. Come over. Nope. Nope, nope, I want you to do that. There we go. Solar panel right there. Another solar panel needs to be repaired as, as always. I'll do that. And then, how are you doing? You need some more stuff here. All right, so that is that is the extent of our supplies thus far. So I do need to, do need to clear the launch pad if I can. Um, as soon as we get the resources for it, otherwise we are stuck here. We do have one more supply crate. So let's get a refinery started. Uh, and then I'll worry about the rest. Worry about finishing it later. Once we can actually get stuff up here. I could just do a, a small rocket, right? Because we're not quite at the methane level yet. Yeah, let's do a small let's do a small rocket just to get the supply run going. Uh, so we'll do that right now. I'll save the large rocket for when we can do a when we need more colonists. Uh, all the supplies. Let's get as many supplies on there as I can, and then we'll top it off with some food since we're not actually producing any food right now. Uh, that'll give us a little bit of a buffer. Okie dokie. Alright, let's uh, drop this guy down there for now. I'll have him come over here and grab all the stuff off there while my astronaut goes and repairs all the things for me. Yeah, every so often I end up uh, back on like Netflix and looking at uh, looking at Star Trek and other things. I was just watching the other day. I you know every so often I'll run across something on YouTube. You know, people will put like little. Um, clips up little snippets of of um, episodes and all that stuff and like Star Trek moments and all and all that and I and I was uh, I decided I saw one uh, where they were talking to uh, you know, Picard was uh, given the the Cardassians a nice little a nice little talking to and I was like oh, I gotta go watch that episode again so I did I went and looked it up and and, and watch that again that was a a pretty good one where uh, had a, a rogue a rogue Starfleet captain decides to rekindle the war between the Federation and the and the Cardassians fight his own little war um, and it was uh, it's it amazes me you know after all this all this time that has passed how a lot of the stuff in Star Trek still sort of uh, holds up uh, not just sort of it really does hold up I mean I guess it, it helps that uh, the you know special effects were mostly practical special effects instead of CGI. And but even even Deep Space Nine when they started doing the CGI stuff later on in the later seasons, even that still holds up pretty well today. I would say. In fact, I, I think it holds up actually quite well. Um, whereas I look at say Babylon Five, and even at the time. That Babylon 5 was out. The, the CGI that they that they employ. Oh, this, we don't have any power left, do we? We gotta we gotta cancel that. Let's do a solar panel. Um, even the even in the day that that was coming out, the CGI was pretty was a lot better than what they actually had the budget for. Uh, that's not what I want. I want, to, but it's um, it's particularly like nowadays you look at it and yeah, the stories are still good. As far as Battle on Five goes, but it was—it really does pull you out 
<laughs> of the series when you see the the ships and everything flying around and how how rudimentary they were at the time. I guess you do you do over time sort of uh, get a little bit jaded to it. You know, it's like oh oh look at that. You can't even tell what that is. <laughs> um, you would think it would. You think it would just hold up just as well as any, but. No, it really does. It really does uh, kind of end up in your face a lot. Uh, it's just like, it's kind of like, um, I, I liken it a little bit to the original Battlestar Galactica. Every so often I'll go back and watch those episodes because they only had one season. They, that's all they lasted for. And it's, um, you, you just have to watch it just for some of that 70s, um, Futurism and what they thought was so futuristic and groovy, man. It's like um, you see them. You see them walking. There was a like they had like a party boat that that was one of the uh, ships that survived the uh, the Cylon um, massacre. And it's uh, <laughs> it's just there. You see people like sort of dancing around in it but they they wanted it to make futuristic the dance floor to be futuristic so they had everybody like with these string lights that they would dance around in. like oh look we're so futuristic we're dancing around with with a string of christmas lights wrapped around us <laughs> like <laughs> it's like man i i get it i get that, that was the that was the thing that was the um the way that they thought sort of how can we be futuristic? How can we make this look futuristic without, you know, breaking the budget? But <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just look at that stuff and you're like, man, I can't believe that there was ever a time when somebody looked at that and was like, oh yeah, man, this is totally, this is totally wicked, man. <laughs> We're totally going to be, going to be dancing around with Christmas lights wrapped around us in the future, man. <laughs> Uh, I, I just know it's, 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 it's part of the, it's part of the culture. I think uh, you don't want to, you don't want to mine anymore, huh? All right. I guess we'll bring you over here and mine a little bit more of the ore and then send you on your way. All right. So this should be almost finished. Yeah. Okay. Um, do I have enough oxygen to make it all the way through there? without issues that is the question let's see let's see what happens how much more we still have two on there huh all right so we'll go do that and this guy yeah you need to build another solar panel because our we are we are hurting for for the power right now at least we're not uh we're not overloaded as far as the colonists go anyway all right, so this is still, this is empty now. And we have the ability to launch. Let's actually get rid of this guy and launch him. So we can get some more commas down. Uh, how is this guy doing? He's only at 14% oxygen level. Okay. So I think what to, all right, so I can do that. Let's get um, another, oh, let's, Let's get another um, hallway, and then uh, I need to somehow shove a to shove a oxygen generator in there somewhere. But I don't have the I don't have the supplies for it, so we're gonna have to just make do and try to get some people up here. Or not some people try to get some supplies up here anyway on our, our large rockets and we'll do this now give me a little bit of room on both sides and then i, I want to put a a straight hallway here so i can get it shove an oxygen generator in here somewhere because i don't think i can do it right there i think this this overlaps too much uh if i remember correctly all right so that's all we've got well, she wrote as far as that goes. Okay, you, uh, did I tell you to mine yet? I guess I didn't. I just put you there and told you to stop. Okay, so I'll have him run off. He's going to run off and clear up my, clear up that solar panel there. 
all those solar panels that need help. And then I will let this guy finish his mining for a second. And then we'll get uh, a large rocket up. There we go. Let's go back to the launch pad. And we'll get to the large rocket. And we'll say, uh, get this up here now, since we'll need it eventually. And I want to bring more colonists. I don't think I need them right now. Let's just, let's hold off on that. Let's just get all the supply crates that we can get. Because we can't take too many. And I'm going to, it looks like we're still breaking even on the food. So let's just, let's just top off our food as much as we can. All right, back we go, my friends. Okay, our supply ship is arriving here. And we'll uh, undock that guy and have him start to move things around as we need it. Uh, I'll get my guy here to grab something. Because we want to build out just a bit more. And I'll have him go grab things too. Alright, you build straight hallway. There. And then I can put a... I'll put a... I'll start the pattern here where I put a oxygen generator on that side. We'll get another habitat. Well, do I need another habitat? Um, well, I will need another habitat soon. So might as well. Honestly, actually, I should just get people up here and start building the other things that I need. Uh, but we'll bring this guy over and we'll get that oxygen generator down anyway. So this is all fleshed out and ready to go. Uh, how are we doing up there with the colony meter? We're still good. All right, so you build a oxygen generator. Right there. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Right, you need to let's get a little bit more of this and then send him back to the refinery so get this going there you go do that excellent and let's get another solar panel down just so that we are good to go for a little bit right, you come on up there to finish that off Right, you've got oxygen now, so open this up and let that help out with all the oxygen placements. And actually, I should probably open this up to the rest of the place so that guys can walk through there. Alright, very good. Are right, you finished? So go back to the refinery so I can get the spoils here. Okay, alright. We're doing good, I'd say. We're doing good. Now you can come down here and grab some more. I'm going to need clay. So let's get that going. Also some ice here. I'd like to... I could put down, while I'm thinking about it, let's put a, another cryo tank down now before I actually need it. So let's build a water cryo tank right there. So I'm actually... I'm actually ahead of myself right now which is interesting because I'm usually not but I guess it's because I have so much space right now that I'm able to sort of shovel this stuff in there I guess I, I don't know for some reason I'm a lot further ahead of myself than I usually am at this point and I'm not quite sure why but uh, I've done apparently I've done something right I guess <laughs> which would be a first all right you uh, come over here do some more of mine you're not quite done yet. You finish this off. Excellent. Still good with the power. All right. So we'll get this guy. Oh, we need to. We need to take all the supplies off this guy. We haven't done that yet. And I gotta get some pallets down. So we can have that ready to go. Um. What else? What else do we need? Uh, you, uh, oops, you want to build a pallet, um, I guess I can put it right here where nothing else is right now. Is there anything else on there? Yeah, there's still three more. Alright, uh, yep, there you go. There you go, you did it. Right, you put all that down there. Nope, put all that, mm, nope, put all that down there. There you go. 
Now I'll grab those three and then we can get ready for another launch. And I'll bring some colonists up. In the meantime, I am going to need, well, how many colonists do I need for a, uh, for biology lab? I think it's eight, right? Need for biology lab? Yeah. So I just need four more right now and I can get the biology and geology labs down or at least get the biology lab down first and then I can start to get the food situation switched over from these to that and then that'll free up this a little bit so I can get rid of one of these and and then turn the other ones into refrigerators. So yeah, we are really far ahead of where I normally would be at this point, which is uh, quite, quite the interesting thing here. Uh, I think we can refuel and launch this guy now. So you can go off and do your thing. And we got plenty of supplies, which is always a good thing. Just put another, uh, which Medusa down too. Um, another pallet down right there. Maybe even get a 3D printer going already. That would be, that would be swell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, in fact, you know what? Oh, I can't do that yet, can I? I need uh, I need a level two... Watch me do it. No, I need a geology lab. Okay. Yeah, I was thought I couldn't do that yet. <laughs> I, I'm ahead, but I'm not that far ahead. All right. Um, yeah, you grab some more of that because we're going to need to do all the biology. All the bio biology shall be done. And how close we are right now the launch. Wow. <laughs> it's almost like I'm timing it. Almost. And large rockets. Large rocket. Uh, four more colonists. And all the supplies I can shake a stick at. And might as well do the food thing too. So that's, that's 170. That's 170 would give me 393, 400. All right. So, well, over 400, uh, but that's, that'll just do. And that's, that's that, I guess. Uh, I guess I could get another forklift, right? No, no, it's going to put me overweight. I don't need that right now. All right. Let's continue to be ahead of ourselves, huh? That would be, that would be a nice. Okay, colonists are disembarking. And we got our mission challenge, colony planning. Excellent. Uh, that's probably the first time I've ever felt like I actually did it properly and not just kind of cheeseballed it to get that colony planning thing. So I think uh, I'm kind of kind of proud of myself there a little bit, just just a tad. Uh, what we can do is put a greenhouse down right here for now because there's nothing else that can go here uh, since this is so close uh, to that guy. And I don't really feel the need to expand up this way. I can expand all the way down through here, so that will work. Can you do that, please? Excellent. Grab some more stuff. And we'll open this up so it actually works for me. Alright, now build a build a biology lab. Right there, please. If you please. If you please. Oh, you know what? I need. Yeah, we can't we can't do that yet. Let's have this come up here. And then we'll have you go build another another solar panel. Right up there until I can get a geology lab or yeah, until I can get a geology lab down. We're still good on the colony though. That's colony population, so I'm cool with that. Alright, hurry, 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 guy. You can you can run a little bit faster than that. I know it. I feel it. All right, there we go. Let's get that down there. Come on down here and finish this. I'll let my astronaut clean the solar panels. And hopefully we'll have some biology that we can start doing and get some, get some farms down. I actually have my astronaut go build some farms right now. So go up here and do that, and we'll get this oxygenated. Go on up here. We need two farms. 
which uh, we're still low on the power, so I gotta be careful here. I think a farm only takes one power. I think. I do. I do believe that that's what it does. Yeah, it takes one power. It looks like. Uh, and then we're gonna repair that other one over there. We need more solar panels. So go repair that, please. Go repair that. Uh, you grab some more stuff off of here. All right, we are. We're making do. Oh yeah, we're down negative one. That's not good. So it does. T it takes two power. It looks like. Okay, um, so you want to build another solar panel right there. <laughs> please. Pretty please. Uh, oh, you're going to go grab them from there. Okay, that's this guy was still in motion, I guess. That's why. Alright, let's, let's hurry this up a bit. Hurry it up a bit. And you got that. And you got that. Alright. Uh, build another one because we are, I do want to make sure that I get a little bit of extra power because I need to make some hallways here and then be able to make the, uh, the geology lab. So put that down. Very good. And our water is going down by 1.0. All right. So. Here's where the, the long pants come on because I'm going to have to make a... Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold off on making a... Um, I'm going to hold off on making a recycling plant for a little bit because it looks like... I think recycling plants take a lot of people because uh, that's usually where I start getting over budget with people. We know we're getting up there right now. But it doesn't seem like that's the case with cryo tanks. So I'm going to kind of ease into it especially since we have some more areas here that have supplies on them this guy i need to get him out of here so we're going to go and refuel and launch him just so i have room to go and you're going to finish that that is good very good come on over there please you are you can go Oh, you're mining right now. Okay. I'm like, you can go back to the refinery. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now you can return. It's excellent. Got that. We should have enough supplies for all our stuff. Let's do some genetics. Let's get cyanobacteria going. And some of that generated strain. And I do believe, my friends, that, that will do it for this episode of Soul Zero. We're rolling along a pretty, pretty straight and narrow here, my friends. So thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.